Don't add that in there. Can you? Yeah. <laughs> I can't really answer this question. I. <laughs> My pre-concert ritual is that I can never find my tights. So I'm always running around frantically trying to find my clothes. <laughs> Maybe some yoga, um, some food, and a short warm-up. As a harpist, my pre-concert ritual requires a lot of tuning. <laughs> right before I leave the house, I usually take a shower and a nap beforehand. I'm do some deep breathing, do some jumping jacks to get the blood flowing in my fingers, um, and then I'm ready to go. My favorite composer to play is Shostakovich. I think my favorite composer to listen to is Mahler. I like classical composers such as Mozart and Beethoven. This week I'd say Rachmaninoff, but it really changes. Any of the romantics. I love Brahms, um, specifically performing it. I get to slide around a lot and just be very romantic with it. As a harpist, I really enjoy playing Ravel, especially um, his orchestrations. My favorite non-classical artist is probably Sufjan Stevens because he's a genius but I also love like EDM and house music and electronic music because I love to go dancing. I love Kendrick Lamar. I love Radiohead. I love Celine Dion. I love Avril Lavigne. BTS. Uh, there is a song named Dynamite. Right now I would say Corey Wong and a jazz pianist Keith Jarrett. Probably the Beatles because that's what I grew up listening to. How to survive a Minnesota winter, thanks to my colleagues, it's just been about getting the right gear and going out to enjoy it. Well, the first thing is it's not surviving. You want to thrive in it. So you, I mean, first of all, it's beautiful out. You can look at the trees, the snow cover on the trees is absolutely stunning. And you get out there and you go skiing, ice skating, sledding, you come in for a break for some hot cocoa by the fire. I mean, winter's my favorite season. Don't go outside, ever. A new experience for me the last couple days has been digging my car out of the snow in order to get to work. <laughs> I survive a Minnesota winter carefully and with lots of scarves. This is my first Minnesota winter, so maybe ask me that next year. My favorite meal to cook is a, is a breakfast sandwich with uh, eggs and bacon and all that good stuff. Anything that is Korean, just because uh, it connects me back to my roots. Shakshuka, which is like a Middle Eastern um, egg dish where you like cook the eggs in a sauce with spices and it's really good. <laughs> I don't cook a lot, <laughs> especially because I've been in school for a while. Avocado toast or eggs on toast, anything on toast. I really like to bake, so muffins and scones. Usually I like Korean food, but sometimes I cook pasta combined with Korean food such as bulgogi. Oh, can I say my favorite meal to eat? Yeah. I love potatoes, <laughs> so anything with potatoes. The last TV show that I binged. The White Lotus both of the season one and two. The same as everyone else, the last TV show I binge was White Lotus. So good. White Lotus, uh, kind of disappointed. You were? Oh, I think it's a little overhyped. I think I last binged the newest season of Stranger Things. Wednesday, I watched it with my niece over the holidays. Great show. Andor, the Star Wars live action show. I watched it in two days. <laughs> so I actually secretly love reality TV shows. <laughs> It's embarrassing, but Singles Inferno. Definitely my most used emoji is either the crying laughing or the rolling crying laughing one. Probably the cry laughing emoji. Let's look. A big smiley face with the rosy, with rosy cheeks, but not far behind is the googly eye thing with the tongue sticking out, so. Something with like a heart or like the, the smiley face with the, the stars and the eyes. Probably the heart, because I'm such a loving person. A smirk face. My most used emoji is the moon, like cheeky side eye, like the gray moon. I think it's hilarious. The best part of being in the Minnesota Orchestra is that it's in my hometown. The best part of being in the Minnesota Orchestra is getting to come to work every day to this and see all of these great people. The energy on stage and everyone's so kind and welcoming here and they sound amazing. I'm so happy and grateful to listen to their delicate and crystal-like sound every day. Obviously just the energy um, and playing on stage, but how accepted I feel for who I am and my identity. I just love looking out in the audience and seeing um, how the music affects the audience because everyone is coming to the music from a different perspective and with different experiences and I just love being able to see that.